Hi, my name is Al Dumdai. I'm a solution engineer on the wireless COE team. This short video will be an example of onboarding a Catalyst wireless LAN controller into the Meraki cloud for monitoring. As a Cisco wireless user, maybe you're looking to replace your prime infrastructure going into life. Maybe you're not sure you want to make the investment for Catalyst Center. Or maybe you just want to start your journey to the cloud. Cloud monitoring of controllers provides a quick and simple way to get visibility into your existing wireless LAN controller, as well as the clients and the access points associated with the wireless LAN controller. This video is intended to provide a short tutorial demonstration on how to add the Cisco wireless LAN controller to the Meraki dashboard. Before we get started, we need to prepare the wireless LAN controller by adding the IP domain name server, which is our DNS server. The IP domain lookup needs to be enabled. And then finally, the NTP server needs to be configured as we have secure communications between the wireless LAN controller and the cloud. For the firewall, ensure that we have access from the APs and the wireless LAN controller through TCP port 443 to the destination shown in the slide below. Adding the wireless LAN controller to the Meraki dashboard is a simple three-step process. Enable Meraki on the wireless LAN controller, claim it in the dashboard and add it to a network, and finally configure NetFlow on the wireless LAN. To start with on the wireless LAN controller, we want to go configure, we want to find cloud services, click on the Meraki tab, and then the Meraki connect button, and then finally, don't forget to hit the apply button. Once we've hit the apply button, we can see information about the connection. We may have to hit the refresh button a few times until we see the green check marks, and now the wireless and controller is talking to the Meraki dashboard. We can see similar information in the CLI, if we run a show command called show Meraki connect, and that'll show us information like the Meraki serial number, the Meraki ID, and the Meraki MAC address. Now we're gonna to go to organization inventory in the dashboard and claim the wireless controller. So first we have to get the Meraki ID number from the controller, either the GUI or the CLI. We'll take that Meraki ID and we'll go to the claim button. We'll paste in that ID into the claim box, and then we'll go ahead and claim that. And you can see once we claim this, that it's now been added to the Meraki dashboard. Next, I'm gonna create a new network, and we're gonna add the wireless controller to the new network that we just created. So first, we're gonna give it a name, uh, a type, a configuration, and then we're going to select the serial number that we found for the wire sync controller. We create the network here. We can choose which network we want to assign that to. Again, we're going to assign it to the one we just created. We do have some options here that we can um, either use an existing network. We can do a new network here. We can uh, have it build based on site tags, different networks. So there's a number of different options here. Once we get that done, we're going to put in the username and then the password, and then the iOS 6E enable password, which is optional. Do our quick acknowledgement, and then we'll hit next. And now we're basically done with the configuration. The only thing we're gonna add now is we're gonna add the NetFlow configuration. We're gonna do this with CLI just because it's easier to cut and paste. And so you can see the CLI configuration in the text window. All we're gonna do here is cut and paste those. We're gonna build a couple of different flow exporters, one for IPv4 and one for IPv6. Okay, that gets us the, config the configuration for the different flow exporters. We can see it here in the CLI if we want to. One more step, we need to assign that to any of the policies that we're using. So under QoS and AVC, we want to enable the two ingress and egress uh, uh, IPv4 and ingress and egress IPv6 NetFlow uh, monitors that we set up. That'll send the NetFlow information to the dashboard. Hopefully you can see just how quick and easy it is to add the wireless LAN controller to the dashboard. This feature still is in EFT at the time of recording, so if you have any questions or you'd like to participate in that, reach out to your Cisco representative for more information. We'll soon do another short video on how to utilize the cloud monitored controller. 
to gain important insights into your wireless network's performance and well-being. Thank you for your time.